Hey everybody, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. All right, so I have three samples here. These are all gourmand scents. I have not tried these ones before, and I'm very, very curious and excited to try them. Um, especially this one here. This is called Lemon Tart. It's from Teodoros Calotinis. I love many of his fragrances. I own three of them, the Coffee Addict, the vanilla and also the velvet chocolate so this is lemon tart i love his gourmand scent so i'm very curious about that one and then we have ruby this one is from the house of bruno acampora if i remember correctly this one has white chocolate in it and then we have one here called fanfarone italiano from the house of a state of mind very interesting looking bottles so yeah maybe we'll find um a gem here we'll see uh, let's try I'm gonna leave lemon tart to the very end because I'm looking forward to that one the most and I'll try this ruby scent so let's get this on a test strip I will read the notes out and show you the bottle after I sniff it and give you guys my quick first thoughts okay so ruby uh, by Bruno Acampora Wow. <laughs> hmm. So I said earlier, I believe there's white chocolate in here, but I'm getting also some milk chocolate. There's a bitterness to this as well, a bittersweet scent in here, which reminds me of dark chocolate, like the dark chocolate cocoa with a high percentage of chocolate or cocoa, like those lint chocolate bars. <laughs> very literal it smells creamy as well almost like a dark chocolate ice cream and then you shave some dark chocolate on top as well like sprinkle it on top it smells like black forest cake mostly just the cake itself mmm <laughs> It reminds me of brownies as well. That is delicious. Chocolate milk as well. I think you guys get the idea here. It's very literal, realistic, delicious. It smells like dessert. It's sweet, bittersweet. Think of chocolate bars, chocolate fudge, brownies. Yum, yum, yum. Straight up chocolate scent. And it's quite strong as well. And it is kind of reminding me a little bit of Teodoro's Calotini's Velvet Chocolate. Mm. So that's Ruby. Now I'm going to pull up what the notes are in it. So the bottle looks like that. Nice pink bottle. Main accords are sweet, chocolate, musky, fruity, rose, warm, spicy, cacao, soft, spicy, powdery, and fresh. This was released in 2018, and the notes, dark chocolate, red berries, musk, rose, and pink pepper. So for some reason, I thought there was white chocolate in here. Maybe I'm getting it confused with another scent, but the main note in here is dark chocolate, and absolutely 100% it is chocolate like a chocolate explosion of desserts and cake I'm thinking of black forest cake as well oh, I think I said that already <laughs> super yummy well there's red berries in here as well hmm. mostly chocolate but now I'm picturing that cherry on top of a uh, black forest cake, which is so so yummy. I like that one. So that's uh, Ruby Bruni Acampora Now let's try the Fanfarone Italiano Hmm Okay, so the first image or thought is that this leans a little bit more on the masculine side are typically masculine and of course anyone can wear any scent 
it doesn't matter if it's marketed for men's or men or women but I'm thinking of a man wearing this it has this musky scent to it a musky sweetness it reminds me a little bit of aftershave <laughs> which is not what I was expecting. But the sweetness in here is kind of like, like a musky chocolate or a musky caramel. It's reminding me a little bit of the scent from Boho Boco Sea Salt Caramel. It's not exactly like that but it just reminds me of it for some reason it's been a while since i've smelled it but this is a musky rich spicy that muskiness right now on first sniff on the test strip is pretty prominent but i can smell something in the background as well that has a nice spicy sweetness to it so yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this one yet. <laughs> not was I expecting. I thought it would be like full-on gourmand. Although there are some sweet gourmandy aspects to it. It's not really what I expected. <laughs> and of course, I will be testing this on skin to see how it dries down and if any other notes become more prominent. But right now, it's a typically, typically masculine smelling, musky, spicy, sweet scent. Okay, now I'm very, very curious what the notes are in this one. So the bottle looks like this. It's like a triangle bottle. It's very, very unique. And the accords, the main accords are woody, warm, spicy, amber, cacao, Vanilla, sweet, nutty, fruity, coffee, and aromatic. There's a lot of notes listed here. I'll just read them out quickly. The top notes, just a moment, I just lost it. Okay, top notes, black currant, currant bud, bud, sorry, orange peel, neroli. Middle notes, chocolate, coffee, tonka bean, and cashmere. Base notes are walnut, cacao, cognac, vanilla, and amber. So there are a lot of gourmandy notes in here <laughs> but I'm smelling mostly a spicy muskiness and the sweetness yeah I can now well I think I said that it kind of reminds me of like uh, a spicy musky caramel and there are some chocolate coffee cacao notes vanilla sometimes a combo of those notes remind me of caramel so maybe I'm reaching I don't know but <laughs> This one definitely I will be testing on skin because I'm not really getting a lot of those gourmand notes that these notes are suggesting. So yeah, that's Fan Farone Italiano from um, State of Mind. Now, last but not least, let's give the lemon tart a try. As I said earlier, this is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. And um, I love many of his other scents. And I like the price point as well. Um, I think it's like 45 euros for 50 mil of his scents, which is a great deal. All right, so first sniff of lemon tart. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So yes, lemon is very strong in this one. It is prominent. The imagery that I'm getting on first sniff is like a lemon tart. Well, that, that's what it's called. <laughs> and specifically the inside part of the tart. So the filling. I'm also thinking of the inside of a lemon donut, the filling part. Actually, actually, that tang is very, very strong 
almost bitter, but there's a really nice sweetness in here as well. Very sharp, tangy, creamy. Yeah, it reminds me of the filling of lemon desserts. Mostly that donut, lemon cream donut filling. Not so much the bread around or the donut itself, it's mostly that filling or that filling in a lemon tart or the filling in a lemon pie. Super tangy. I almost can taste how tangy it is. <laughs> very, very nice. I'm curious if this one dries down and it has more of that cream, like the whipped cream that you would put on top of a lemon tart. But yeah, right now it's mostly about the filling part and only that. So if you were to like scoop out the filling of a lemon donut or a lemon tart, to just eat that. Super strong, intense, lemony, creamy, citrusy, realistic and yummy so that's lemon tart from teodoros calotinis and the bottle looks exactly like the other ones it's a very simplistic uh, minimalistic kind of bottle it's an eau de parfum main accords citrus vanilla sweet and lactonic and released this year 2023 and the notes lemon zest lemon vanilla tartine, butter, whipped cream, and sugar. Hmm, it's yummy. <laughs> yeah, it's yummy. Okay, so now I'm going to rank these ones just based on my first sniff on which is my favorite and which is my least favorite. I think it's pretty obvious that the Fanfarone Italiano from State of Mind is my least favorite, but I do want to try this on skin to see how it dries down and if I get more of those nutty chocolatey coffee notes. Uh, second place would be the lemon tart. Um, it smells nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I need it. Um, there are some other lemon perfumes or lemon gourmandy lemon pie type of perfumes that I enjoy as well but I will have to test this further to see if I need it in my life. I was actually thinking of um, blind buying this one, so I'm kind of glad that I got a sample of it first. And my favorite of these ones, based on my first sniff, is the Ruby Straight Up Literal Chocolate, Dark Chocolate. And I really, really love dark chocolate. I love eating dark chocolate. It might even be my favorite chocolate. I like it more than the milk chocolate and the white chocolate, so. Yeah, so those are three new niche gourmands um, that I've tried. So if you guys have tried these scents, I would love to hear your opinions about them down in the comments, which would you prefer? Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys, bye-bye.